It's wide open. We ran at the goal line. They gave you the ball at the goal line, and you're trying to throw it like Russell Wilson. Don't throw the ball. Hand it off. This, this, this game, it's all this is being given to you right now. Who is making the decisions? Who is doing it? There's no way in hell you can't tell me that y'all couldn't find a way to get her out there on that team. Something better happen. Just had breaking news just a few minutes ago. Caitlin Clark not making the Olympic yeah. team yeah. despite leading all rookies in points and assists. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, obviously bro bro broken news. I've got to look at the roster to mm -hmm. see who they picked to be on the team, but I would imagine they leaned on veterans. And while Caitlin has had an incredible season, I don't know if there's going to be a rookie on this roster. So if we look here, the biggest thing is, and there I know no the rookies. U.S. Women's I know a couple of the ladies on this team, and they, they all damn good. Like, again, it's a all of them, I think the whole team is good. Who is like Nefesisha? Kalia, though, who is that? And Kalia Cooper. I need to look into that. Does Kalia Cooper play for the WNBA rules when it comes to physicality? The physicality of Olympic basketball, the physicality, physicality of right. basketball is taken to an entirely new level. Just looking at that roster right away, looks like they leaned into veterans and yeah. veteran experience and efficiency when it comes to scoring. So that's my quick take on it, yeah. but I've got to dive deep into it. Yeah, we know that Caitlin Clark is a great player and she will probably be great in the WNBA, but just like you said, you know the veterans, you know what you're going to get on that team. And you know what else we know? We know Caitlin will have plenty of opportunities oh, yeah. to make Olympic rosters in the future. Screw that. Screw all that. Screw making rosters in the in the future. We need her out there on that team right now. Who in the hell idea was it to keep her off of this roster? Off of the Olympic roster. You mean to tell me that y'all had to let everybody know who's on that roster, that they on that roster ahead of a schedule? Y'all could have left somebody off that shit and put Caitlin on there. They wouldn't have to know who it was. They could just be guessing. Or are people right now, because people are probably saying, hey, man, I'm better than old girl that's on the team. Why I'm not on there? That's the people probably saying that right now. Screw that. Y'all should have found a way to put Kaylin out there on this damn team. Y'all are F fucking. You guys are fucking up. Who's responsible for this? I done heard two stories. One, right? I done heard that the committee got together and they elected not to put Kaylin on that team. Then I also heard that she was playing college games so she missed she missed the the practice to be on the team which one is it y'all don't want her out there or she just didn't make a team to get out there i'm calling bullshit i'm calling bullshit this feels like isaiah thomas this feels like isaiah thomas re revisited they went out there and put christian leitner on the damn 92 dream team christian leitner is on the best team ever assembled in basketball history Christian Leitner, y'all couldn't find room to put Kaylin on the goddamn team? Y'all couldn't find a way to get her out there? Do you know what this would mean for the WNBA, what this would mean for women's basketball in general to have her face out there? So, so the style of play is too competitive, right? Is, this, is that what y'all trying to say? So is their style of play too competitive for the WNBA? Because it seems like y'all been beating her ass up, so she can't go out there and get her ass beat up too? What's the difference? Now she got the best of the best surrounded by her. Y'all are fumbling it. You're fumbling the bag. They handed that shit off to you. They turn around. Halfback sweep. No, hell, halfback dive. It's wide open. We ran at the goal line. They gave you the ball at the goal line, and you're trying to throw it like Russell Wilson. Don't throw the ball. Hand it off. This, this, this game, it's all this is being given to you right now. Who is making the decisions? Who is doing it? There's no way in hell you can't tell me that y'all couldn't find a way to get her out there on that team. Something better happen. I heard that uh, Chelsea Gray, right? Chelsea Gray, let's go look at this. I'm going to pull this up so y'all can see the roster. Now, I don't know. I know Asia. She cold. I know Dana Tarasa. She old school. She's been in the, the league forever. She's a dinosaur. Brianna Stewart, she's got the MVP last. These two, I don't know. Jewel Lloyd is a walking bucket. Jewel Lloyd is a bucket, man. She deserves to be on that team. Chelsea Gray, I need to go look up. Kelsey Plum. Y'all already know how I feel about Kelsey Plum. Y'all know. Sabrina, she just was in a three-point contest with, with, with uh, Steph last year. Brittany, she got out of, out of Russian prison, and she ready to go back over there and kick some ass. So keep her on the team. Jackie Young, she's good. I've been talking about her. She played with Asia. And then Alyssa Thomas. I just saw Alyssa play today. She's pretty goddamn good. Got. I said got, guys. Don't get mad at me. But <laughs> this is a great roster. The only thing I can see is somebody getting hurt. And not being able, and y'all just got to put out there. Just put out there and say, 
Screw it. Screw everybody's feelings right now. This is about making money. Y'all got to make the best decisions for the WNBA. Look, this is how I know that they trying to work with y'all, but they really don't care. There is a commercial going on right now, right? With the WNBA players. It's, it's Asia Wilson. Uh, it's Sabrina. How you pronounce her last name? In your school? Long school. In, in our school. I don't know. Uh, I'm not trying to be rude. <laughs> and then it's Sue Bird. And they walk down the street and they go to go pick up a, a used car for Sabrina. They got WNBA players going to go purchase used cars in a used car commercial. Why y'all not in Lexus commercials and Mercedes Benz and stuff like that? Why? I tell you why. Y'all guys have a $300,000 contract. I think what, what is Caitlin's contract? Like $350,000? Over the, over the span of five years, something like that, that's like $75,000 a year. Look, you can't afford the cars that they have in those commercials. <laughs> so why haven't we put you in them? Look, this is where things change. This is where you guys start getting sponsors. Do y'all see the WNBA players coming to the basketball games and they drip? Come on, man. Y'all going to need sponsors to, to, to pay for those clothing for y'all because y'all have to go and buy your own clothing. That's the clothes that come out y'all closet. <laughs> That's designer where the people in the NBA have is the reason why they dress so crazy. They doing that because of the sponsorship, the design and clothes that they wearing right now. Somebody going to go buy that. Your clothes I can go get from Target. <laughs> I go to Old Navy and get that fit, man. They not paying these women enough to come out there and shine like that. Got them in used car. Y'all got to feel me. Y'all got to feel me. After this, I want to see WNBA players in Lexus commercials. I don't want to see them in no damn CarMax commercials trying to sell used cars. That is embarrassing. Y'all, please, y'all, do y'all feel me? Isn't that embarrassing? <laughs> it's embarrassing. Look, we had six minutes, bro. I just wanted to get on here real quick and and, and and just give y'all my disgust with what's going on with Caitlyn right now. And I also kind of want to address some people when they look at this because I had somebody question me, all right, about, I guess, my, I guess it's like my allegiance to my, to the culture. Uh, what you guys don't understand is I care about my culture very near and dear to it, right? I ain't got no quarrel with Angel Reese. I want her to succeed. If you watch any of my videos and you really listen to what I'm saying, I want all these girls to succeed. I just keep telling y'all that the reason why I'm watching basketball again, WNBA, is because of Caitlin. She put on a show for me last night. She put on a show for all her fans last night. They sold out the building. Sold out the building. The two two of the sorriest teams in the WNBA sold out of WNBA game. I, I, I told you already. You're not going to see two of the sorriest teams in the NBA sell out a game. It's not going to happen. This is the face right now of the WNBA. You need to be trying to find a way to get it out there by all means and at all costs at all times. But you also need to let her get some type of rest. You see what happened when the team rests. They had time to come. I told you, I left. they had time to come together, to chill, to jail, right, and get to know each other. And they went out there and put on the show. Now, they got the Connecticut Sun coming up next. That's going to be a hard game. Connecticut, they just lost their first game today against the Liberty. And somebody was telling me, hey, man, Connecticut's the best team. I was like, yeah, on paper, by record. But I'm telling you, the Liberty and Aces are the best teams in the WNBA. They got the absolute best players on both of those teams. And I, I think that's what needs to happen with the fever. See, instead of like, really, because we keep down talking the team and the coach, we got to try to find ways to get them to get better. One way I think they can get better is to go get an enforcer. Just like Draymond Green said, they need to go get Liz Cambridge. There are a lot of WN play, WNBA players who left the game. I'm going to tell you why I feel like they left. is because it wasn't paying nothing. They can go get a regular job. Shoot, Cambridge can go do YouTube videos and get paid more than she would get in the WNBA. But bring her back right now. Offer her a contract. Start offering these girls contracts. The, the revenue for these girls, they, they income should go up yearly. You should be continue to reevaluate reevaluate their contracts. Because what's about to happen right now to the WNBA is about to be unprecedented. You said I, I saw reports that said the WNBA makes two hundred million dollars annually. I guarantee you're gonna see that increase. That is going to increase this year. And you're going to see a large amount of that due to the way Kaylin's about to start playing. If they can string together some more wins and go on a win streak. Oh, my God. The fans are going to go wild. They're going to start spending more money. So, listen, guys, this is what this is all about for me. On the grand stage, if, if there is some kind of confusion and they can get this girl on the team and it was like they didn't, they voted to not have her on there, they need to change our minds. Find a way to make this stuff work. I don't care about anybody's feelings right now. I don't. 
What I care about is that we start to make differences and make strides. And right now there are strides and leaps and bounds being made in that league. It's something to keep us entertained while the two worst parts of the year, <laughs> June and July for sports is terrible, terrible. Now y'all guys got something to see. Y'all settle y'all differences if y'all did not want this girl on this team because I'm telling y'all, something's going to happen to put her on. I, don't, I hate to say that. I hate to say it like that. But she's going to be on that team. She's the best, best marketing brand you can get behind right now. She needs to be out there marketing our country. Y'all say it's too tough for her to get there and play? Hell, surround her with that toughness that y'all just put out there on the team. If y'all truly believe that, this is a, hey, yo, this is a, a player call. Whoever got the most, whoever got the most brass in the WNBA, whoever got the most pull in athletics for women, go ahead and make that happen right now. Y'all need to stop fussing and fighting. Y'all need to come together. This is how y'all get this done. Y'all want more money? This is how it happens. Y'all see, look, I didn't curse as much as I usually do in this video because I really don't want y'all to get distracted. I don't want y'all to miss the points. And the point of the matter is, is that a casual viewer like me who loves sports is watching this girl play. And I'm also seeing a lot of other girls play. I just watched Angel Reese's last two games. And I told you how I feel about her game. I feel like that she should get, get more involved in the gym and stop being distracted by all the social media world. That's what I truly believe. She can be a beast out there. I watched her backing people down. She a beast in the paint. Do you understand? They got her and they got Cardoso on that team. They shouldn't be losing no games when they got them two big bodies down there doing damage. So look, I'm looking at it all. I'm looking at it all, especially when I got the time. I hate to be categorized, <laughs> but it's what's happening when people look at this because it's what they hear, right? It's what they hear. But the perspective of it is, the matter of all this is that I'm coming at this from everybody's angles, guys. Y'all have to see it. And right now, I'm coming at the angle of, don't these girls want more money? This is how they do it. Otherwise, continue to star and goddamn, oh, see, see, see? <laughs> and otherwise, continue to star in used car commercials. Make the move. Make the right move, guys. Kaylin, Kaylin being not there, international. You guys don't understand that there are players who play in these other countries who would love to come over here and show us catch their skills. But what's the point? When I don't know if I'm going to be playing long term after college, there's so much talent out there that's not in the league. They can't be in the league. There's no spots for them. Candace Parker's just retired. I guarantee if the league all of a sudden just start paying women four, five hundred thousand dollars more a year. You see them, all of them come back because that's all the skill level It's off, right? It's all off. You got a big girl and um, you got your center and you got your point guard on every team. That's the best dynamic to have. That's why I said bring Liz Cambridge up in and let her be the enforcer for the fever. Go get her. Go offer some money. This is how you change the tide. It's how you make things better. You guys, keep growing with your boy. I did my first live a couple of days ago, or last night. I'm going to do another one because the fever finna play again on Monday. So I'm going to do a live for that. And I'm also going to get myself to start doing lives for everybody else who's playing too. It's not just about Kaylin, guys, but Kaylin is the one who got me here. Understand that. So roses, that's all this is, guys. Roses, giving grace. You guys out there in the world, you got to give grace. I know a lot of people hate that it's her, but it has to be that way. And then you just got to go out there and show your skills. See, I'm a person who believes that all I got to do is get my foot in the door. Let me get my foot in the door and I'm going to go shine. I'm going to go shine. Yes, this person is going, she's getting all the glory from it. But don't worry about that glory stuff. Don't worry about it. It's all about what you do on your end. Don't worry about what nobody else is doing out there in the world, guys. Worry about yourself. So if you made it to the end of this video, you know what you got to do. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button so you know when your boy produce videos. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is my reaction to Caden Clark getting snubbed from the Olympic team. Maybe you know, maybe you don't need to go play in the Olympics. Go, go chill. Go rest. Go get some rest. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Get your ass out there on that team and play, girl. They need you. We need this, guys. They need to. Who do we gotta go talk to? <laughs> who we gotta go talk to to make this happen, guys? <laughs> I'm gonna go find out. Y'all take care. Peace. I'm calling. Yeah, maybe I'm selfish. I want you to myself. I can't help it.